locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. A warm reminder, benefactors, that the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sanjo as the Divination Commission. Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 years. Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet, thousands of light years away. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider like Ching Chu to guide you. It seems more than a little reckless to charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. As expected, the divination was correct. If I hadn't repaired the shifting screen today, we'd have all been trapped. We'd be fertilizer by now. Still, the teleportation range wasn't enough. It's no ordinary tree. The branches felt tough as metal. Yuncha, have you ever seen material like that before? Mm, what if I have? You gonna go get a sample for me? I was thinking about it, yeah. Isn't it just an ornamental tree? <laughs> have you ever seen an ornamental tree move? Have you ever seen one bore through the ground like that, eh? So what if it moves? I just need to run over and saw off a sample. I can't grow faster than I can run, right? Sure. Go ahead. Use a crowbar and a saw. Well, uh, I, uh, I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately. <clears throat> uh, Yuncha, you're the most uh, agile person on the materials team when it comes to operational efficiency. <laughs> under the weather, huh? How convenient. As for me, I'd rather stay alive, thanks. I've never seen the Ambrosial Arbor look like this before. Is this how it looked back in the day? Master Gong Shu. Oh, are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes. <sighs> I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the General invited you? 
is that a joke? The Lawfu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Xu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? Is research data more important than life? I just heard him shout, It's gone! We lost the furnace! By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway, you said you're here to help us, right? 100%. The General sent us. You don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. <sighs> In that case, take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound, if anything happens to him. Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? Rise! <laughs> The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do.
victory by the blade. Upon commission grounds your feet do tread. Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead! Stay away! If you come any further, I'll not spare you. Uh, uh, hold on! Let us explain! We're not... What excuses do you have? Surprise me! Just passing by? Stumbled in? Door wide open? Within commission grounds today was sown. An evil spun by hands unseen, unknown. No longer. If the security mechanisms didn't teach you a lesson, these robots will. Stay back, Clara. I need to be brave. Annihilate. Golden Cloud Toad, Illumination Dragonfish, <laughs> are you all right? Wake up, I raise you like my own flesh and blood. <clears throat> Did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want compensation. You didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you and you started a fight for no reason. Those hopeless brats send you here? It won't work. They abandoned the Commission's precious assets and ran off to save their own little skins! Ah. Even if you rescue me, it won't change anything. All of them will fail their internships. It's not like that. You're making this too complicated. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gongshu. R really? The General sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession, the Creation Furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots, it was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment aid my plight. <laughs> Come, come on, <laughs> through here. One of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes, the Shifting Screen. <laughs> Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The Shifting Screen works in the same way. 
It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen <laughs> wouldn't understand. Indeed, with limited range and energy costs aside, to every star's gift soon shall woe be tied! You sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither, but... Through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled. The shifting screen entangled vents and coiled. How observant. You would make an excellent student. The commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. <laughs> O oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong, your match and more in strength to meet ere long. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Illumination Chest. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh... Let me guess. Limited range? Energy costs? <laughs> Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the tree demon. And then... Ignite! Fire beats wood! There's no way we can lose! Good. The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must walk through it. You're much better than my useless students. What's happening? Is the delve collapsing? Seems like it worked. That tree demon must be writhing in pain! <laughs> All right, there's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back! Break! 
startle something, think nothing of it. towards my allowance. Ship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace! Help me, dear young friends! Let's hack them away together! We can't let the roots punch through the furnace! Careful, it's changing. <laughs> about me. Hide. So, 
How many of my moves can you block? Strike with heart! It's guarding the Ambrosial Arbor's roots and the furnace. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! No matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself! Not fair! We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me! The Siencho is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. Miss Ting Yun, are the long life species on the Siencho all like this? I'm afraid this Ebon Deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Siencho don't have abilities like this. Huh? As long as it's there, we can't get any closer. I wonder... The Ebon Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Are you listening to Mr. Yang? The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. So the general asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission, hmm? Uh. The Artisan Ship Commission had no choice but to halt operations once the Tree Demon appeared. It's a whole row of those Gate Robots! We saw one in the Divination Commission. Gate Robots? Those are Arumatons. The Artisanship Commission created them to stand guard in various locations. Master, are these creations truly able to protect the Artisanship Commission? There's already been so much destruction. Why haven't we seen any in action? I... No! Oh, we haven't quite finished the paintwork on this batch. How can we deploy them if they're not looking their best? Young friends, I have a suggestion. Why? Any thoughts, Master Gongshu? Hmm. 
When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. Oh, great observation, Mr. Gongshu. It's amazing what you notice when you're not fighting. <laughs> I'm only an artisan, after all. My skills in Clash of Swords shall find no sake. Yet that which clasheth needeth hands to make. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Precisely. You remember how we untangled the shifting screen with fire? Well, you're right. Those roots never grew back. Not only that, its reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. Take hold of your weapons, young comrades. Let's raise these roots to the ground! My theory was correct! Keep going!
vision. Break. Stick that, Clara. Strike apart. Swords descend. <laughs> Hide. Stick that, Clara. Stick that, Clara. Blade in flight. by the blade. Let's go say hi. <laughs> Blade in flight! 
Swords descend! <laughs> Bright edge that can cut Jake. Moment. I'll set up the device. I suspect the Ambrosial Arbor's root system must have spread far underground. The only thing we can say with confidence is that we removed the majority of those within the bounds of the Artisanship Commission. Let's hurry, before they have a chance to grow back. So, the next step is... Ah, oh, let's go. How many can you block? Strike with heart! Help me, Mr. Storm! <laughs> Eliminating front! Mission command!
roots coiled around the creation furnace. They've withered. Excellent. Nothing can stop you now. A strong adversary. Strike with heart. Protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Spark. Strike with heart. Are you all right, Mr. Command? Mr. Command. Naughty child. That's better. Don't worry I'm not about me. Of you. Annihilate. Truth of life and death, revealed in the sanctuary, is but a vision! Break! Practice is over! Swords descend! <laughs> I'm for a shot. Hmm. Thanks. I have no interest in I'll conflict. never forget you! Help me, Mr. Torb! Many can you block? Strike with heart. As you come back. of life in this sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Practice is over! Swords descend! <laughs>
General Jing Yuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant. I think I finally understand why the Xianzhou decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. If immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe, entire ecosystems would collapse. No wonder the people of the Xianzhou wander the universe, never settling on a planet. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Perhaps some of them did reject the Plague Author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried while the fools remain immortal. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the Abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. Go, friends. And stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey. Thank you. 